Be sure to keep your eyes peeled throughout this whole video because we have a giveaway implanted throughout the video. So be sure to stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Yo, what's up people? So we're at Walmart again today for another video. I'm gonna walk around for just a second so I can talk to you guys because we are here on a Saturday. And that's probably the stupidest thing to do when we're about to walk in here with the camera and that whole deal. So we are about to look at the fishing section Figure out what we're going to be using today, and then we're going to go catch some fish. But first, let's go ahead and take a peep at what they got. All right, so originally I wanted to come here and get some jigs or get some frogs or get some, you know, kind of whatever, more of a specific lure, and then go catch some fish on it. But I was looking right here, and we have a basket with a 128-piece basket. It's the Lucky Strike basket. It's got a ton of worms in it, a ton of lizards, a ton of other different soft plastics. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, they have some other stuff down here. They got like a lizard kit, and they have um, a regular like util kit. And then I've already done a video on this. If you wanna go check that out, you can go check it out now. And I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna have to go with the basket today. Um, I feel like that's, that'd be a cool little challenge, you know, try to catch a fish on almost every single soft plastic in that box. 128 pieces. I feel like that'd be pretty fun. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section if you guys know what type of Walmart videos you want to see because I want, I want you guys to leave your opinions down below. And so next video, I can come prepared with what you guys want. So it's 128 piece bass fishing kit. It's the bass fishing machine. We're gonna be catching some fish on it today. Let's get it started. So one thing I did notice of this is it comes with hooks, which are in that corner and some weights as well. And it has some beads, but these hooks really aren't the best. So I think we're gonna have to stop and get some hooks and weights as well to go along with this kit, just so we don't lose any fish today. Now it's time to get out to the pond, show you, guys a, show you guys the lures, and then go catch some fish. All right. It is time. This is what we've all been waiting for is the first peek of this tackle box because I don't even know what's inside this thing. Oh boy. Oh my God, what did I just do? Well, ignore the beads everywhere, but <laughs> this is the 128 piece bass fishing kit machine. And it looks like more of a little kid's toy worm box to be fair with you, with these weird <laughs> looking pink worms, holy cow. Okay, well, out of all these baits right here, this is, holy cow, all right. So we got some Sankos, cool. We got some what looks like centipedes, cool. Those are good Carolina rig baits, by the way. You got these little skinny uh, purple and pink worms, which honestly would be good on a drop shot. But I don't know if I have drop shot stuff with me. We got these lizards, which this is what I think I'm going to start off with, to be fair with you. I'm going to set that on the side. That looks pretty, pretty saucy. Then we got these little skinny worms, like I said, good on the drop shot. These worms, that would be good on a Texas rig. Um, looks like we got some flukes down in here. Yeah, some little skinny flukes. Maybe we can get some on that. Then some more skinny worms that'll be good on the drop shot. Those are perfect for a drop shot, matter of fact. And then some cheap hooks and weights, but we have a substitute for that in this box today. And we got some hooks and weights right here. So we're gonna rig up, we're gonna put this on, we're gonna go try to catch a fish. Bullet weights. Hooks. Lizard. Old lizard very skinny lizard it's just like a basic like almost like an avocado color like green lizard holy cow this thing's huge honestly all right people it is time to get started let me tell you this is a huge freaking lizard uh, <laughs> see where the hook is up here this is a massive lizard let me tell you and i'm excited because we are gonna try to catch a bass right now we're gonna fish this dock first thing i don't know why there's fishing rods laying on the dock that's smart but Let's see if they like this old 128 piece kit lizard right here. There he is. Holy crap. No way. Oh my God. I skipped right under that dot guys and do this second cast. No way. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't filmed a video at this pond yet either. And that is not a big bass. He's super skinny. Look at that thing. 
Oh my gosh, but that is the first blood today. That's our first little fish got the, we broke the ice with the lizard. So if you guys want me to be fair with you, I did not expect to catch a fish this quick here, nor did I expect to catch a fish this quick on this lizard. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it off because we got a lot of lures in this kit. We wanna try some new ones. So the next one that we're gonna give a try is the Sanka right here, which I do not think should be hard. I think this would be the easiest one out of the box. Let me put that used lizard in my pocket. Don't ever litter, guys. Keep that stuff in your pocket, put it back. Let's rig this little Sanko up and see if we can catch a fish on it. I think this is gonna be easy. This is probably the easiest one. I'm about to cheat. A fluke would just be too good in this pond. I can tell with how all the grass sets up. There's a fluke in the box, but he's, I don't even know if I can put him on a hook. So maybe this can substitute the fluke. Oh, he got me. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was so stupid. Got him. Not big. But I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. Second fish of the day on the fluke. How to adjust. I know that's not a part of the challenge, but listen to me. There's a fluke in there and he can't even go on these hooks. He's so small, so. That can count as the fluke right there. So that was kind of a miss right there. Only caught one. Um, I didn't fish the whole pond, but I was kind of cruising around it. The one I caught was kind of small. It looked more of like a newly built pond. So I kind of knew that there wasn't any toads, nor was there probably a lot of fish. So we're gonna be moving to a new spot right now. Still picking out new spots is what we're doing today. All new spots, let's get it. Oh, this looks good splashing right there golly what in the crap i'm not gonna lie right there that fish actually one spooked me and two literally almost pulled the rod out of my hand oh what is that there's something going after me he's got me that is a bass and he just came off i'm so mad that didn't look like a bass or that first bite definitely wasn't a bass. I was being a Twinkie right there. I should have hooked set him a lot harder. I really did not think that was a bass. I got another one. Oh, he came off. God, they're stacked in here, peeps. They are stacked. Look at him take my... Well, I guess Senko's not being done. I don't have another one with me because I'm an idiot. But what I do have is a centipede, and we're going to knock this off before the Senko, I guess. I got another one. Oh, that's actually a good one. Holy crap. No way. Heck yeah. Let's get you in here, boy. First cast on the centipede. Oh, yeah. That is not a bad bass. Golly, man. That's first cast of the centipede. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. There we go, baby. I can tell you, I have a feeling this pond's stacked with some decent little bass right here. That is not a bad fish. I not mind catching that guy. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. Oh yeah, he was ready. All right, let's see what our options are for this next thing. I'm gonna save the Sanko. I actually got two different colored ones. I just realized that. I'm gonna save that for another pond because it seems like they're gonna bite here and I'd rather throw some else. We caught one on the centipede, but we also have a pink centipede, which I don't know what that's. Yeah, we have a pink centipede. We're gonna try this out. So we got the lizard done, we got the centipede done. We got the fluke done, so we're counting the other one as the fluke. And yeah, we're getting, we're getting through the base. Let's try the centipede. There he is, look at him running. Not big. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, boys, look at that. On the pink centipede, not big, like I said, not big. He's a fish, he counts, he counts. Next in show, this blue and pink worm. I don't know how that's gonna fit on a Texas rig, but we're gonna make it happen. I'm not gonna lie, this ugly rig right here might be some sauce. Watch this, first real cast on this thing, watch this. It's gonna happen. I have a feeling they're gonna tank this color. 
Got that little twirly tail moving on the back too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That feels pretty good, honestly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No way he's running at me. Let's go. Not a bad one, man. I mean, these fish, they're not big, man. They're really not. But they're quality, you know? Like, they're not all dink dinks, but that's that's a decent little old bass. That was first cast on that thing. We're going to throw another one with it. Look at that. We are making it happen quick, folks. Beautiful fish. Beautiful colors. Healthy. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the low. But we should probably just be home. So guys, little switch up. We're adding on another one out of the 128 piece bass fishing kit. And it is a freaking long one, let me tell you. A little like you tell. Kind of looks like an ultra vibe. Speed worm on the bottom of it. Let's see if this thing's gonna get bit. And I think it is. Oh, he's got me already. Oh, he took it. Did he take it? He did. Wow. I don't think I only have two or three of these too. Yeah, I got three. Oh my gosh, that's the first cast on this thing. Oh my god. That was so sweet. That was so sweet right there. On the big worm. I watched him eat that thing. He just flung it. Nothing big, like I said, man. But god. Just, that was so awesome right there. I just literally watched him come out of nowhere and just whoink, gobble that thing right up. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Uh, yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the low. But we should probably just be homies. Yeah, I said I got a ghost. Girl, don't act like you don't know me. Literally just got here literally just got here holy cow look at this bass wait till you see this look at his back look at that he's like got a huge indention where something like possibly might have bit him and it's trying to grow back right here that's insane look at that dang there we go that's the senko fish right there there we go boys a little funky looking bass but there we go we just pulled up here literally that was my first cast that is a good sign there he goes all right, that was on the old Sanko. I still have another lizard. Here's the old lizard right here. Almost looks like a Christmas tree. It's like a green with red and green flake. We're gonna give this guy a shot. That was our first lure of the day that we tried, but it was a different color. So I'm kind of counting this one as a different lure. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. He was right in front of that pipe where he should have been. Holy cow. Oh my God. He broke me off. That was a freaking good one. Oh my God. That is so stupid right there. Look at that. Just straight broke my line. That was at least a two and a half too. I watched them come up and eat it. Always the big ones that happens to, ain't it? Let's go back to my truck, retie real quick and come back out here. Oh my God, he did it. He hit it like a top water. <laughs> I tried it for like probably five or six casts and I had one come eat it right here. Heck yeah, look at that. He ain't big, but he ate the lizard like a top water. We're gonna keep doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, did you see one swirl behind it? Yep. And he freaking broke my lizard. Or no, he spit my other one out. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I got my other lizard back. Oh my gosh, that's insane. It was the same fish that ate this other. Look, I literally have two lizards. This came out of his mouth. <laughs> 
That is sweet right there. We caught the same fish. I bet it's two times in a row, two casts. That is awesome. I think we can get a third time. Got him that time. Boom, baby. Dude, this is this is fun. This is what we should have been doing all day. Catching them on a top water lizard, baby. God, dog, he scared me. I thought that was a huge bass. I thought he was huge, so I jacked him. Eating a topwater lizard, that makes no sense, but they love it, whatever. So I really don't need this bass fishing kit, so if you guys want it, you can have it. I'm gonna do a giveaway for this thing because guess what, I'm not gonna use this. It's just gonna be sitting around. I'm gonna be filming different videos. I'm not gonna use it. I'd rather give it to you guys. So if you guys wanna win this bass fishing kit with all these lures inside of it, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, baby. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell, which is the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. That's a requirement as well. Hit the like button and then leave a comment below on your favorite lure that was in this box. And I will be picking one lucky winner to win that box next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will catch you guys in the yeah. next video. Sorry girl, I got a ghost. Uh, yeah, you need